Um, so today we'll be talking about steganography, uh, specifically least bit steganography. So uh, I am assuming that you guys already know what steganography is. So that is uh, embedding some information such as a text in image such that the image doesn't change much to your naked eye. It would seem like the image is the same, but there is certain information that is embedded in this image now. Uh, that is what we will be coding uh, today. So we would need the pillow library. Um, so for image handling, and I'll be using NumPy because NumPy is a great library. Uh, I could certainly use Matplotlib for some purpose, like just to show you the image. Uh, it's not really used much useful here. Uh, okay, I'll open the image. So image dot open and. Uh, now if you need to give the location so it's uh, available in the images directory um, by the name treevw.png so it's a black and white image so it has only two channels uh, I, I would convert it to a numpy array so that we can deal with uh, it using an array uh, I could certainly show you the image here Should have used cmap as gray, and yep, yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is the image. Uh, now let's see the um, the shape of this um, image. So w comma h is equal to image dot shape, and let's just print w comma h as well because why not? So it's three zero seven two comma four zero nine six. It's a large image. Uh, now we need to embed a message so that will be a text now let's just take it from the user so message is input and once we embed this message we would need to know like where has it ended so I would add a special token here uh, that would be uh, let's say end so it is a string which says just end yeah this uh, I would encode it to sky I will show you what it does so um, message is equal to message dot encode uh, sky. Um, I could certainly show you how the message will look like now. So let's enter something. Okay, let's say hi, and yeah. So this is how it looks like. Um, now while it looks like this and um, here, I would, let me just show you what is present at specific indices like message 0 is 104, message 1 is 105. Uh, so these are the ASCII codes of these characters. And using the ASCII codes, now we can convert them into bits. So that's what we'll be doing. Uh, let's do it here itself. Uh, so let's find the call it message bits. Uh, it will be um, so let's say it's a string and what we are doing here is now this needs to be a list um, one second be, I'll explain the, the entire thing in a moment okay so what we have done here is uh, I in message basically means that uh, each uh, of those um, sky codes so like we saw that message of 0 is 104 so I um, would be like 104 105 and so on um, so format but format would do is it would convert this to binary and it would ensure that the length of that binary will be 8 bits long uh, like here you will see that none of the none of our characters um, uh, constitute something that could go beyond 7 character uh, beyond 7 bits like um, the first bit the leftmost bit will be zero for everything so if you don't write zero eight you'll have something like uh, um, the first bit would be zero so it may not be displayed so uh, when you write zero eight basically it will be eight bits long you can try without this zero eight uh, okay uh, so now what i will do is for easier iteration over the image i'll just flatten it for now and since I already know the dimension of the image, I can always reshape it later. 
Wait, message bits. So I have the message bits as a string. Um, what enumerate does is basically it would be um, so for each bit it would uh, give an index so it will be like 0, 1, 2 and so on um, so yeah there's this thing let's go to image of um, idx so basically it's referring to the first position of the image uh, in the beginning I mean it's, an, it's iterating over the image and uh, this value uh, will I'm just saying that it should be binary of uh, value Mm. and value is equal to value to minus one plus bit oh okay so what it does is uh, first we are taking the number um, that is like the intensity of that uh, pixel we are converting it to binary then we are ignoring the last bit and adding the bit from our text instead and now we'll just uh, substitute this bit uh, this pixel value uh, in the original image so image at this index so that's referring to the pixel and now we need to convert it to integer and this value is a binary thing and so it's binary so we need to mention 2 and now we'll just reshape the image so image let's go to image dot reshape uh, we already know the dimensions that is w comma h and okay i should have this here and now we need to give some text so uh, a picture is worth a thousand words um, now i can run this and yeah it did run so now it's an um, now it is uh, a numpy array still, so I can still show it. So plt dot im show uh, img, and as you can see, okay, I forgot cmap is a good array again. And as you can see, it's the same image, like nothing has changed, but there's an information in it now. So. Uh, now we can even extract that uh, information so let's say message is equal to uh, nothing uh, that's what we are beginning with and uh, we are beginning with index of zero and so what we need is basically uh, till we encounter this particular token that is end we'll just iterate over the image and try to find the hidden message if you are not able to find this token then that means there was no hidden message in um, this image so message uh, so the last five things should not be um, end should not be this particular token end so what I am doing uh, in that case is mm, bits will be uh, we are converting it to binary and then we are extracting the last bit uh, for i in image uh, index to index plus 8 because we are extracting all of them at once um, so that we can uh, make a full character in one go uh, now before I, I create over it like this I also need to reshape the image again so that I can easily iterate and I'll flatten it again uh, after this now I can join the bits uh, to, to make it a string because it was a list earlier and now I can add this character to uh, my message so it will be character of uh, now since we have bits so we need to convert it to uh, the sky code first that we do using int uh, we have bits um, and it's binary so in uh, we need to give 2 and we'll update the index by 8 now we also need to see the stopping condition so if index uh, goes beyond image dot shape uh, zeros so that is uh, the, uh, the total length of uh, our uh, 
message uh, then what we would do is we we'll just say that there is no hidden message and we would break it uh, and actually apart uh, rather than saying that it should be greater than image dot shape zero we could perhaps even say that if it exceeds uh, this thing minus eight I believe then we should be able to say that uh, like we won't be able to perform a character after this particular point mm, so I think this is it and then we should be able to see the message if I say message let's see what and it and it did now uh, find this message uh, so this was uh, LSP steganography uh, that I think we can write particularly very very big uh, messages in this particular image because just look at the size of this image like it's a uh, 3092 cross 4096 so here I have actually added uh, this message as you can see it's very 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 long and despite that I was able to get it completely uh, it's taking time, time to scroll through it it's a very very big message so I hope you like the tutorial thank you for watching